Hello my SOC Universe! <laughs> Last performance review for this winter break. I'm very much excited to be able to do the fifth one as well. We are looking now at Ligue 1 and the Eredivisie Liga actually kicking off on the 7th again. So I think it's just about time that I get this in a day before it kicks off. But you know, that's how the schedule worked. Quick note on the sound. I just realized my phone is so low on battery and since the phone powers the microphone and it takes a lot of battery um i'm not sure if i i, I was not sure if i can go through the entire video so it's not the microphone sound it's just a regular phone sound so uh please excuse me for that i'm not sure how many of the other reviews you have seen uh so far but um it is basically we're looking at how the expected points and then also the ratings developed uh, since the start of the season for all the teams i will comment a few select ones for each league and then I, I always do a little montage for the rest of them and i would say uh before we lose more time let's jump right in and i'll start with the french champions maybe not the most interesting curve but we can already see a few things so we have two graphs here um we have on the left the development of how the expected points so many there's a final points total have developed over the uh, course of of the season so when the graph goes down there was a big loss in points meaning there was a loss to potentially a team where you ended up losing uh more points than you uh, you know you were losing a lot of points that you were actually meant to to uh, keep whereas if you win you know you usually uh, gain a little bit so that's basically uh, how the ups and downs are coming uh, the more up it goes the bigger the win the more down it goes the bigger the loss uh, in layman terms it is not as much reflected on the um, ratings curve but you see already that the, the graphs not only show the performance of the team but there are other curves in there, which are basically all the other teams in League uh, where you can already see there's one team, and you can venture a guess, that is way above the rest of, the, of them all. Then there were at least at the beginning of Season 3 that were kind of close together, but all kind of downward trading, and now it's kind of muddling together. And this is exactly what we've seen in League uh, that uh, PSG is far away. And the rest is kind of, there's always a new third place, uh, second or third place team coming. It's a, a wide open field and uh, it actually is pretty wide. And then maybe for relegation, we see also a few teams that are bunching together. It's not as clear of a picture in the ratings, but in expected points, it definitely is. So let's move on to the big boys, PSG, uh, where we also can see how the season actually started really well for the Parisians. But then at the beginning of October, the first kind of cough ups, blah, 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 uh, you know, ratings also dropping a little bit because of the Champions League performance and all being all the great. And while still winning, every draw felt a little bit like a loss. And so while initially there was a big jump, PSG is coming down a little bit. So, uh, still far ahead of the rest of the league, but at least in the last few months, a little bit more downward than upward trending, and it's exactly what we have seen. Um, I want to just point out Olympique Lyon, Monaco, very, very, very similar, is definitely one of those teams that are on the more on the losing end, where it has been kind of a continuous downturn, especially the last few months, uh, uh, or the last month, the last uh, few games have really not done well uh, to OL. Uh, I definitely see a downward wall, wall trend if we look at OM. Uh, Marseille, of course, uh, it is rather steady, but there was one big rise where you thought maybe, maybe, just maybe they could do something, but that, that was at the end of September, and then yeah, just staying rather steady overall. Um, an interesting curve is, of course, Stad Rennes, who had another good start to the season, but then worked themselves up all the way to second spot at one point. I think at the moment they are only fourth, but you know, Ren is kind of in there. And the last one that I want to show you is a rather in interesting from a small team. I think they are uh, one of the biggest winners is Brest. If the um, break would have been two weeks early, earlier, they would have been the, uh, the, the biggest winner. And you see that actually at the beginning, uh, it was kind of, yeah, you performed as expected, suddenly were in last place. 
And then the big turnaround in November, uh, up until the same, I mean, the entirety of November, press were winning, 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 winning. Really doing, doing well and are now looking a little bit more uh, like a midfield team than a team that uh, should get relegated. So yeah, those were a few interesting curves that I thought I'll show you and I comment on a little bit. What you'll get now are all the 20 teams from uh, League 1. You get 10 seconds for each. Uh, you can pause you, you, and, and on look, wait for your favorite team. Uh, they of course sorted by uh, the standings, uh, the final standings from the 2021 season. So yeah, with that, enjoy. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing for the Erre Divisi. And again, we jump right in. Uh, of course, the first team we have to talk about is Ajax, who almost similar to, uh, to PSG, although you never had the feeling because they, they performed so well in the Champions League. But in the league, Ajax, up until the beginning of October, uh, really well, flying high. And then kind of there were the bumps in there. I mean, the big rise at the beginning of, of November, I think, is the 5 0 over PSV. Uh, Probably a result that was too clear because of a source of so circumstances with PSV having only a few days to wait for it, and you know, uh, then uh, the even the game not not going to very many injuries. But uh, I've said it 
in my reviews over at while if i look at ajax in the league they, they they also don't quite look right however it is kind of steady but more going down than up uh if but you can also see that uh the dutch league it is at the moment a big three it was a potentially a big four at the beginning at the beginning but Z broke off but it's basically there is the top three then there is a gap then there are other four that go for the remaining euro european spots and there's a big midfield and there's a relegation battle this is how the dutch league lo 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 looks at the moment um quick comment on psv um at least at the beginning a little bit mirroring what ajax is doing you know and up and down they had their cough ups here 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 and there but uh, rather steadily so ever since the beginning of the psv is uh, getting points getting points uh moving up and at the moment in the table ahead of ajax expected points are still behind ajax but they could be a challenger uh the biggest win of the big three however was feyenoord uh pretty steady uprise yes Two slumps at the beginning of September, uh, around the international break, and then again uh, around the October international break, there was also a little bit of downward. But ever since uh, the end of October, Fener is moving nicely up, although the last few games maybe did not all go their way. For the remaining teams, well, the montage is coming again. 10 seconds for every team. Uh, enjoy, and I will see you at the other side of it. <laughs>
Well, I really hope you enjoyed this little performance review. I personally really like this grass because you can very uh, often tell really how the season has been going for these teams uh, on a statistical level and not only just of how you observe it. So it kind of backed up and I really, really love this about those. Please drop a line below what you thought about these. I probably do one again at the three quarter mark potentially, but let's see uh, how my schedule will work out if I can get those to it. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you want to see more uh, videos like these. Subscribe to my channel um, as well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.